have confirmation from the Hong Kong government uh, that Mr Snowden has left Hong Kong. I can't give you any further detail at the moment, uh, but it does look uh, as if uh, the report carried by Hong Kong's South China Morning Post is accurate and that he has indeed boarded a flight to Moscow. Do we know why Moscow? And there are also reports coming through, I think, that that might not be the final destination. It might be Ecuador, it might be Iceland. Is this just speculation or is there a little bit more to go on? Uh, nothing more at the moment, um, and I think uh, it, there will, of course, be a lot of speculation uh, as to why he's been allowed to leave. Uh, of course, a few days ago, Mr Snowden was here uh, on a tourist visa. Uh, he had not at that stage, as far as we knew, been charged with any crime, and he would, of course, have been, in theory at least, free to leave. Uh, that uh, status uh, changed, of course, when uh, the US formally charged him with... Uh, uh, espionage uh, uh, offences and, and, uh, and an offence of theft. Uh, America had said uh, that it had begun uh, talks with Hong Kong about extradition and it wanted to see that process completed speedily. Uh, there were warnings uh, with some Washington officials quoted as saying uh, that any attempt uh, to, uh, to, to drag feet over the issue would, would damage diplomatic relations. Uh, I've just uh, a copy of the Hong Kong government statement uh, by my colleague here uh, and let me, let me give you the detail. It says Mr Snowden has departed Hong Kong to a third country through legal channels. Uh, the Hong Kong uh, Special Administrative Region Government has notified the US government regarding his departure and there is no further detail than that at the moment. John, that's interesting because that's really the first real concrete statement we've had from Hong Kong authorities ever since the US um, uh, pressed uh, charges or outlined this idea that they wanted to charge uh, Edward Snowden. So they've been quite quick to comment on the fact that he's left the territory. I think what, what it will inevitably mean is that uh, there will be speculation that all along uh, this has been a real political headache uh, for the administration here in Hong Kong, possibly also uh, for the government in Beijing, uh, that it is a, a, a problem uh, that in the end uh, they have wanted to wash their hands of. And I think uh, some people will draw the conclusion uh, that the reason that the, the first really uh, concrete statement uh, from Hong Kong is the one that Mr Snowden has left, speaks volumes about uh, the way it uh, has, has seen this developing story uh, as a real political thorn in its side, and perhaps it's taken the easy way out.